This is your Field Pass with DCI's Dan Potter. Welcome to another Field Pass Extra. Uh, this past weekend, I was in Ada, Ohio for the Cadets Spring Training. Had a long talk with their program coordinator, Drew Shanefield, about their 2018 production, The Unity Project. Also had a very frank discussion with Drum Major Claire Pittman and Horde Sergeant Sarah Bowden about the challenges the Corps has faced this spring. But my schedule didn't match up with this guy, so I thought we'd do a Field Pass Extra with him and get caught up with the Corps' new executive director, Scott Litzenberg. How you doing, buddy? I'm hanging in there. Um, I just retired from teaching four years ago, four hours ago, so I'm looking forward to getting out with the, uh, the Corps full-time tomorrow. That's uh, not a whole lot of rest in your retirement, going from a uh, full-time teaching job right into full-time uh, as executive director of the cadets. Actually, it's going to be okay because the last month I've been doing both, so I'm actually looking forward to just wearing one hat starting starting right now. I would imagine so. Uh, fill us in a little bit about your background. I know you were once core director of the Crossman. I know you from uh, DCI contest coordinator. Uh, tell us a little bit uh, about your background. Uh, I actually marched in the 82-83 cadets when we were from Garfield, New Jersey. Uh, got done doing that, graduated from Westchester University, and then started teaching the Crossman in 85 as a front ensemble uh, pit instructor. Took over as a, didn't know any better at age 25, took over as the core director. But at the same time, I, I was a high school band director, started in 84, and as I did 34 years of that, three different high schools, and took about 10 years off of drum corps. And in late, the late 90s, got involved in the DCI contest crew. And uh, the last five years or so, I've been the head tabulator as well as contest coordinator and event manager for DCI. Given the challenges the Corps already faced this spring, did you have any trepidation? Was there any pause before you said yes to the job? Um, really, no. But what, what I had told uh, the board immediately that I was absolutely interested and willing to, to, to do that um, as long as everything for me just made the most sense from a logical standpoint. A lot of people think that it, it wasn't very logical, leaving a, uh, a teaching position with a lot of guarantees and, and taking a leap of faith to an organization that was going through a lot of turmoil. But I think my trust in this new board and the reality of what this drum corps, this organization means to me and what it's done for me, uh, far outweighed any concerns I had to come on board to be a part of this. I think the drum corps community has kind of closed ranks around the membership of the cadets. I get a lot of questions about how do you think they're doing, Dan? Uh, let me put that to you, Scott. What's the, what's the mood like? Well, literally not one member walked away from this drum corps. Hmm. Every kid that was there stayed. Every one of them. Those kids all believe in this organization. And they also believed, I think, very quickly in the new board to make good decisions to give them an opportunity to live their dream of being a cadet either as a new member or as a returning member that's very determined not to let this change their cadet experience. The word I heard more than any other, I think, describing the core this year is driven. And I would add talented. I heard the drum line. I heard the horn line. This is going to be a great addition of the cadets this year. W what are your goals, Scott, for this season? My first goal is to take care of these members and people that are on tour, whether it's volunteers and staff, that they have the experience that they signed up for. Um, we want to make sure we're giving them a, a, a high level uh, opportunity to perform a, a great drum corps show to be an addition of the cadets that people are going to look back on 20 years from now and say that core is the one that started that, that fixed that that took care of the, the situation and is going to make a difference for the cores the next 10 years 15 20 years from now Scott, I knew the minute I heard you had been appointed executive director that the uh, board had made the right choice. The core is in good hands. Thanks for spending some time with the field pass.